Hello friends, this video on hydrogen part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's talk about the resemblance with the electronic configuration. So halogens, I have are fluorine, fluorine, uh, bromine, iodine, this kind of stuff. So we have discussed the similarity and resemblance with alkanes. Now let's discuss the similarity and, dis uh, and resemblance with halogens. So if you see all these uh, uh, halogens, halogens need one electron attain noble gas. Noble gas calculation. Similarly, if you see hydrogen also needs one electron to attain noble gas. Correct. Both needs one electron. The next is the atomicity. If you see both hydrogens and halogens exist as diatomic H2, Cl2, F2, I2. So these all exist as diatomic. Okay. The next is electrochemical nature. As I told, hydrogen is electropositive. In some case, hydrogen is electronegative also. If you talk about lithium hydride, uh, CH2, if you see, it has oxidation number of minus 1 in hydrides. So if you do the electrolysis of hydrides, then you will see that hydrogen gas is collected at anode. Since so it is collected at anode, we can say that hydrogen is electro negative, right? In halo, in hydrides. And also, if you see uh, all this chlorine, fluorine, bromine, they are electro negative substances. The next is the oxidation state. So if you see for chlorine and all, the oxidation state is minus one, most of the case, right? The fluorine is always one. In case of hydrides, the oxidation state of hydrogen is also minus one, right? So I'll write that in case of hydrides, oxidation state of hydrogen is minus one. Correct. The next is combination with alkali metals. So what are alkali metals? So alkali metals we have sodium, potassium, lithium are my alkali metals. Okay. Let's try to combine this with sodium. So or sodium if you see if you combine this guy with sodium with hydrogen it becomes NaH. If you combine sodium with halogen, NaCl. Similarly, lithium, if you want to combine with hydrogen, becomes LiH. Lithium, you want to combine with chlorine, uh, halogen, becomes LiCl. Right? So, if you see the combination with alkali metals, it is all similar. It's all similar. Alkali metal, if you see, the combination pattern is all similar. NaH, LiH, the combination pattern is all similar. The next is the combination with non-metals. So let's take some non-metals. Non-metals you can take carbon, silicon, and let's combine carbon with both hydrogen and halogen, and silicon with both hydrogen and halogen. So you combine carbon with uh, halogen becomes CCl4, carbon with hydrogen is CH4. Similarly, silicon with fluorine uh, is SiCl4, silicon with hydrogen is SiH4. So if you see the pattern is same combination with non metal the next is ionization enthalpy so if we talk about the ionization enthalpy so for hydrogen ie hydrogen it is 1312 kilojoule per mole i just explained in the last few slides for fluorine i have similar values 1681 kilojoule per mole chlorine also have similar value 1255 kilojoule 
one day. Right? So if you see, in case of um, alkali, the ionization enthalpy was not matching, but in case of halogens, it is matching. So these are the similarities with halogens, but there are some difference too with halogens. So let's understand the difference from halogens. The first one is less tendency to form hydrides. So if I see NaH and NaCl both exist, but this exists rarely. And this is easily you can get it. This is more stable. This is less stable. So if you see both has tendency to form hydride, but uh, but with halogens, right? It is better. When you say the metals form uh, alkali metal form hydrides uh, combined with hydrogen and chlorine both but the tendency is less absence of shared electrons so if you talk about let's suppose hydrogen if you draw the Lewis structure there is no shared electron if you talk about chlorine so if it is seven electrons each and if they share one electron, if you see, there are plenty of unshared electron, but there is no shared electron here. And they have unshared, no unshared electron actually. Unshared electrons. Correct. The next is the nature of oxides. So if you see the nature of oxides for halogen and for hydrogen, right? That is what you will see. For halogen, it is acidic. For hydrogen, it is neutral. So example, if you see oxide with hydrogen is water and oxide with the, my halogen it will be Cl2O7. This guy is acidic, this guy is neutral. So the nature of oxide is different. Correct for uh, halogen and for hydrogen. So now let's understand the position of hydrogen. Now we have seen that hydrogen has properties similar to this group. Hydrogen also has properties similar to this group. Right. So the scientists were in big dilemma whether to put hydrogen here or here. in fact. Earlier hydrogen was placed here itself, it didn't have any position because of the dilemma, because it has properties similar to the group 1 and group 17. But finally, they have put it here. In fact, some of the uh, periodic table I see they don't even put now, so it, it just put hydrogen somewhere here because it doesn't have property. Because the 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 reason why we have groups is we've explained the periodic table is that all the elements in the group they have similar chemical and physical properties, right? If you take this group, they'll have similar property. You take this group, that's how the group is created. But this guy has properties similar to this group and this group. Oh. So there was a dilemma. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.